today we're talking about how to set up a grease gun. Welcome to Tech Tips, I'm Len Groom. Today we're looking at how to load a grease gun. So we're going to use this grease gun kit that we have at Amsoil and we're going to talk about how exactly do we get the grease in this thing because it's a commonly asked question. The other thing that we commonly see is people covered in grease struggling to get these loaded. It's not that difficult, let's take a look at how it works. First thing you need to do is get the grease gun set up. So we're going to set this grease gun up just real simple. We're going to use the straight tip. You need to put that in, get it threaded, make sure that it's tight. And now we're ready to load the gun. First thing we need to do is reset the spring. Grease guns use spring pressure to keep the grease into the mechanism. So you grab the handle at the back, pull out, twist so it's locked, and hold. Next, you need to unscrew the body of the gun and you want to load the grease cartridge into the body of the gun. So the first thing you need to do is you remove the protective cap. This end will go into the gun first. If you look, you'll notice that the grease doesn't come all the way to the top. That's on purpose. This end goes in first. We're using a three ounce tube here today. This procedure also applies to your standard 14 ounce grease gun cartridge. So you'll push the cartridge into the gun. Okay, make sure that it's seated in there securely. Sometimes you might have to twist a little bit to get it to seat and you'll push that all the way down flush. So once you have the grease cartridge loaded into the body of the gun, you need to remove the protective foil layer. And to do that, you can either peel it or if it's being difficult, you can actually go ahead and poke it um, with something sharp just to get it started. But the point is you need to remove this protective foil from the gun. Now we're ready to insert the body back into the handle of the gun. Now here's a tip. You don't screw the body down tight. Catch a few threads, make sure that it's securely fastened on there, but you want to leave it loose. So leave yourself some threads there. We're going to release the spring by twisting, letting it release back in. And that will now put spring pressure on the grease. You can go ahead and push the handle in. The spring is now putting pressure on the grease into the handle of the gun and you can tighten the body back down. Now the reason we do that is when we turn this body to tighten it, those last few threads, that helps to squeeze any air that might be in there out of the gun because air is a major problem in a grease gun. It has to be pure grease. If there's air in there, it does not want to pump. So this is just a little trick that helps eliminate air problems. So go ahead and thread that down all the way. Tightened up real nice. Okay, the last step will be to actually prime the gun. So we're going to squeeze the handle and we're gonna make sure we've got a good flow of grease coming out the end of it. So you just wanna go ahead and squeeze the handle. Make sure you have a rag handy for this because it will be a little bit messy. So you just go ahead and squeeze the handle of the grease gun. Make sure that you're, you're, you're letting it come all the way out and then squeeze. And you may have to do this a few times until the gun actually gets primed. Because what we're doing is we're actually releasing the air from the gun. This is the only part that tends to take a little bit of time and it can be frustrating. So as you can see, we're trying unsuccessfully here to get the grease to come out. And this is a very common problem. Sometimes the gun won't prime on its own and you have to give it a little help. In this case, what we're going to do is we're gonna remove the plug in the end of the pump. Now this plug is just designed to give the gun uh, a more universal uh, operating uh, piece where you can put a hose on it or an extension. We're just going to loosen this plug Okay, and then we'll do the same job, but there's less air. There's less possibility of air here. The pumping mechanism is right here and what we'll do by removing this plug is we'll allow that air to get out of there. So go ahead and try the same procedure Give the gun a couple of primes. As it starts to prime the air out, you'll see the grease start to come out of it. That means we've got a prime on the gun. So we can wipe that off. We can put the plug back in. Make sure this plug is snug so that you don't get a leak. And then we're going to move back and we're going to prime this gun. Continue to prime this gun and that will get the nozzle moving. There we go. 
and then we get the air. You can hear the air squirting out of there. Once you get a good flow of grease, you wipe off the nozzle, and you're ready for use. But the key to this is make sure that you're patient and you have to spend some time getting the air out of the gun. Sometimes it'll take a little bit. It won't go perfect at first. But that's the struggle that most people encounter when they're trying to load a grease gun. For more information about where you can get our grease gun, check out amsoil.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.